Okay, this video is being made to show you where the output option is in um, your Adobe Bridge window. So I've got Adobe Bridge open, and this is Adobe Bridge CS6. Um, and I've just brought up, like, you know, a folder that has some images in there. All right, so I've got this image here selected, the checker box window here. And if you look up here, you'll see Essentials. Um, yours may say something else. See, if I click on this drop-down box, I can choose whatever to show here. It may even be like folders, um, keywords, etc. But if you look and see, you also have output there. And you can change this to output, and then you have the option to do the PDF. Now, another thing that you can also do is you can pull... Like if you'll just hover over that with your mouse button or your mouse cursor, then you can just pull, click and drag and pull that over and you'll see more things there. Now if my window was larger, let me scoot this over and I'll make my window wider. I can here. There we go. Then I can just move this over some more and then that way I can get them all up there. Um, so they, it is a little hidden. You have to look for it and uh, it confuses students um, just about every semester so don't feel bad if you couldn't find it um, and you know that's kind of the way that Photoshop works too though is like it has so many commands in it that several of them have to be hidden sometimes you know, if you can't find something just keep clicking around and looking for it and also always feel free to like look in uh, your help files uh, and uh, because they're very informative and you can also look online you know like maybe Google uh, where is the output option in Adobe Bridge and I guarantee you, you'll probably find what you're looking for because somebody has probably made a post about it but if you can't and um, you know feel free to email me I don't mind at all to help you all out um, and sometimes it's things that I have to look for myself but I'll look for it and find it and I'll let you know where I found it at all right um, so good luck with Bridge. I don't use this program as much as I should because I started using Photoshop before Bridge was ever created and uh, I guess you know it's just one of those things I never really got into using it a lot but now when I'm working with a lot of pictures I do like to use Bridge. It's a very valuable program and it's one that you should definitely start out using and get used to using it. Um, because it, you know, it can help you so much with your um, um, collections of images and organization of the images. And you can put metadata in there. You can find out the size of your images, the res uh, resolutions. You can see thumbnails of them, create PDFs out of them. I mean, it's just, there's so many things you can do in here. So best of luck, and let me know if you need any more help. Thanks.